So what I'm doing right now is wrapping a surgical gown, preparing it for sterilization. I've got my supplies here. We have the gown that we're going to wrap. This has been cleaned according to our surgical cleaning procedure. And then it also has had a lint roll run over the whole thing to make sure that it's clean, nothing clinging to it, and no excess lint or hair or debris. I've got a towel that's getting wrapped on top of it. And then my wrap right here is what we're going to wrap it in. And it's going to be double wrapped, so there's going to be two layers. And then I have my in sterilization indicator right here. This is going to turn black through the whole center once it's been sterilized in the autoclave. And then my sterilization indicator tape. This is also going to turn dark when it's been sterilized in the autoclave. So we can go ahead and get started and just folding our gown. So I'm going to take my gown and the key is to make sure that the doctor is going to be able to pick it up by one part and the gown is going to fall and they will be able to put it on without contaminating a surgical scrub or contaminating on an area around them. So I'm going to take my gown that's been inspected, make sure it's clean. I'm going to hold it away like you would if you were putting it on, outside away, inside towards me. And then I'm folding away from myself to bring the next seam together there. And then I'm grabbing the armpits of the gown right here and bringing it together like this. So it's going to fall in folds. I'm kind of going to help it out a little bit to fold down the center. And these seams are going to meet up. So I've got the neck seams in my left hand, the armpits in my right, and then I'm going to just lay it down on the counter, facing away from me. I've got the neck on my right hand, and then the bottom on my left. I'm just going to make sure that we get this fold even and smooth, where we have it folded at the armpits. I'm going to make sure that the ties are tucked in um, on the side. The neck ties, I'm going to make sure I leave those out. Okay, so we've got our fold there flat all the way down. So then from here, I'm just going to fold it like an accordion, essentially. I'm going to take this side and go over and under. So we've got one side up, and then one more fold under with the back part, like that. Making sure my ties get tucked in. And then I'm going to do the same working my way up. I'm going to start at the bottom, just go over and under, and then over and under once more. So this leaves it so that the sleeves, the armpits of the gown are right here. So that's what the doctor is going to be able to pick up is slide their hand into the armpit right here, and then lift the gown and it will fall. I'm leaving the neckties out right here so they're not in the way and won't get tangled. And then we'll fold it accordion style. I'm just going to tuck in my edges, making my make sure I've got a square that'll fit in my wrap. Leave my ties across the top like so. Okay, so there's my surgical gown. On top of that, I'm going to put a towel for the scrub. And that's just going to lay directly on top. And then over that is going to go my indicator strip. So we'll know first thing when we open if it's been properly sterilized. So I'm going to slide this down out of my way and get my wrap. This is going to be double wrapped, so we've got two wraps right here. I'm just going to start with one, set the second one aside for now. So I'm starting it in a diamond shape with a point towards me. I'm going to set my gown, towel, and indicator just right in the middle. I'm going to pull this bottom corner up and over. I'm going to tuck it down the other side, and it's going to help contain my pack and get that quite centered. So I'm going to adjust as I need to, make sure we get it in the middle. I'm going to bring that over, tuck it underneath a little bit, and then bring this corner back over. This is the last uh, fold that the doctor will be able to just pull without touching and contaminating. So now I'm going to take this side and do the same. Fold it up, and fold my corner. And then with my third side, we're doing the same, up, and fold my corner. And then I'm going to spin it around, and I'm going to take my last flap here, and do the same with it, and then like an envelope, fold it up, and then I'm going to tuck it in this remaining, this little flap that I've made on the far side. I'm tucking it in, kind of working my way inside out, I'm leaving this corner out, 
so that right here we've got this little flap to pull. Okay, so there's my first wrap. I'll set that aside and get my second one. So again, laying that out flat in a diamond with the point towards me, setting my gown and towel in the middle. I'm going to take my bottom corner, go over, tuck it underneath, and bring the point back. Then I'm going to take the side, fold it over, and bring the point back. And then my third side, fold it over, and bring the point back. And then my fourth and final side, again, make sure we got all our seams and wrinkles out. I'm going to take it over the gown, over the pack, and tuck it into this little flap that I've made. leaving a corner so that we have easy access to open. Okay, and then there's my wrapped surgical gown. The last thing we're going to put on is our sterilizing tape. This tape is what's going to turn black when it's been autoclaved. We make a little tab on the tape right on the end here so that's easy to pull, easy to open. And I'm just going to put one strip across the top. I'm going to put one strip across the bottom. So, all right, and then I'm going to label this. This is our large surgical gown. So, large surgery gown. And then I'm going to put the sterilization date down here. And then my initials to show who prepared and wrapped and sterilized this gown. All right. So, then this is ready to go in the autoclave and ready to be sterilized before surgery. And that's how you wrap a surgical gown.